Today we're gonna create a fantasy airport in the middle of nowhere. Hey there, my name is Ali, you can find me on Instagram at the screen in front of you. Okay, we'll start our tutorial by dragging our first photo. These photos are gonna be available in the description. Okay, for this photo, I'm gonna crop and I'm just gonna like increase the size, something like that. Okay, then I'm gonna hold my first layer, press Ctrl and T, and I'll just stretch it out. Okay, then I'm gonna actually like crop even more. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna stand on this layer, press Ctrl J. This will duplicate it, then press Ctrl T, then right click, flip vertical. Then I'm gonna move it just below. Make sure there is no gap like in between. Okay, now I'm gonna hold my both layers and I'm gonna just move it up. Something like that and I'm gonna crop this one. Yes, like that. Okay, I'm gonna also flip it like horizontal. Okay, now I'm gonna add my first layer. I need to color those clouds somehow orange. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my brush and I'm gonna take an orange color. This is like a new technique you can use to color grade your photos. And I'm just gonna color on top of the clouds. I want like only the bright areas of the clouds to have the orange color. So I'm just gonna color all like all the clouds, even like the small ones like that. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a layer mask. Then I'm gonna go to image. I'll use something called apply image. I'm gonna press apply image, then go okay. This will like remove my orange from dark areas and only leave it at the bright parts. Now I'm gonna change the mode to overlay and Okay, I'll also like paint orange in this area. I guess we missed it. Okay, now it's only like in the bright areas more than in the dark areas. Then I'm gonna just reduce the opacity. Now we added some like orange tint to everything. Okay, now I'm gonna grab my photo. This one. I'm gonna put it. I want it like to be that size somewhere here. Okay, just to make sure it's in the right spot, I'll press crop, press only one click. I want it to be maybe here at that point. So I'm gonna move it a little bit to the left and down. Okay, now we're good. Now I'm gonna press Ctrl J. We have two copies now. I'll take the one below, press Ctrl T, flip it vertical and just move it below. Then I'll change the blending mode to hard light. Then I'll reduce the opacity. And one thing about reflections, they are usually darker than the upper part. So I'm gonna add an add brightness and contrast layer. Then I'm gonna link it below and I'm gonna reduce the brightness. I also want this layer to be at that layer, the reflection below. So I'm gonna hold Alt and just drag it to that layer. But now it targeted both layers up and down because they are all below of it. So I'm gonna hold Alt and link it only to the down part. And maybe I'll reduce the opacity. I don't want it like a very strong effect. Okay, now I'm gonna grab that column. Okay, somewhere here. Okay, you see the left part is dark and the right is bright. So I don't want that. I want the opposite. So I'm gonna press Ctrl T, then right click, flip horizontal. Okay, then I'm gonna place it here. I'm gonna press right click and rasterize it because I want to edit part of it. I'm gonna delete the lower part, something like that. Then I'm gonna hold Alt, drag it to make a copy, press Ctrl T, press right click, flip vertical. And we have our reflection below. And I'll also change it to hard light, reduce the opacity a little bit. And go to image adjustments, brightness and contrast, reduce. This is another way to do brightness and contrast, but you cannot edit it later. Okay, on this 
one the one above i'm gonna add a curves adjustment layer link it to it then i'm gonna go to the red channel i'm gonna add some reds then i'm gonna go to the blue channel i'm gonna reduce blue which will add yellow so now i have some sort of orange effect it's too strong a little bit i'm gonna reduce the opacity then now i'm gonna add uh, a new layer take a brush and just add a, a dot here press ctrl t i'll stretch it out a little bit something like that and i'll put it in screen mode okay then i'm gonna hold all these press ctrl g and call this the column and i'm gonna get those also press ctrl g call this the model then those are like our background okay the last part is the airplane uh, this photo is like from unsplash.com okay what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna use the polygonal lasso tool and just draw points all around the aeroplane until i'm done with it i'm gonna speed forward this part Okay, now when we're done, I'm gonna add layer mask. Okay, now we have the aeroplane only. I removed some parts. It had some, some, some something like red ears or something. I didn't like it. I removed it. Okay, I'll place the aeroplane wherever we want. Somewhere here is good. But then I, I want to adjust its color. So I'm gonna add a curves adjustment. Link it below. Again, go to the red channel. Add some reds. Go to the blue channel. Remove some blues which will add yellow. Maybe more red. Not so much. Something like that. Okay. Now I'm going to merge these together. That's so I can press Ctrl J. And just flip it vertical. And move it below. Then again I'm going to put it on hard light mode. Image adjustments. Brightness and contrast. Darken it a little bit. Okay. Now we have our airplane. Everything. I'll actually increase the size a little bit, Control T, then I'm gonna hold Shift and Alt and just make it a little bit bigger, something like that. Okay, now I add, I wanna add like source of light somewhere here using the lens flare. So what I'm gonna do, or like how I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna add a new layer, hold Control Alt Shift, then press E, it will merge everything into a new layer. I'm gonna go to Filter, Render, then to Lens Flare. Now I have, I can see like everything, so I know where to put my lens. I'm gonna put it here. And press OK. Now I have my lens flare, but I don't want it on this layer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete this. Add a new layer. Make sure it's completely black. Then I'm gonna go filter lens flare again. It will do the exactly like the last one we did. Now I'm gonna change it to screen mode. Okay, then I'm gonna erase. I don't like this part actually. I only want this part. I don't like this. So I'm gonna just erase that part from the lens flare. Okay, now we have our lens flare. I found a problem actually. The wings of the aeroplane is like overlapping the, the model. So I'm gonna move the model above the aeroplane. Okay, one last thing I'm gonna do to the model. The light is actually coming from here. I reduce the opacity a little bit. Okay, the light is coming from here. So this part should be somehow lit. So I'm going to add a new layer on top of the model. Hold Alt and link it to it. Then I'm going to take some orange color. Then take my brush. I want like even brighter orange, something like that. Then using my brush, I'm just going to like color the edges with that color. Then I'm going to change the blending mode to overlay overlay okay now it's like brighter from here i will do the same to the column too add a new layer alt click link it below take my brush and just draw something like that at the edges change it to overlay okay now we're good the last thing i'm gonna like try to color grade it so i'm gonna add a curves adjustment layer i'm gonna pull my blacks a little bit up then pull my shadows down and take my highlights, make them even brighter to add some contrast. Okay, then I'm going to add a gradient map. 
I'm gonna use a preset we have here but instead of blue I'm gonna use cyan and instead of red I'll leave it red but I'm gonna like make it much like less effect and the yellow I'm gonna change it a little bit to orange okay then I'm gonna change this to color mode now it's like this is the colors of it but I'm gonna reduce the opacity a lot something like that Okay, you see the before and after, it added some color like to the sky and everything. This is la these are like my gradient mapping, the color grading, sorry. Okay, final thing, I'm gonna hold Ctrl, Alt and Shift, then press E to merge everything into a new separate layer. Now I'm gonna go to filter, camera raw filter. Okay, now we have our image. I'm gonna increase the brightness a little bit, some contrast, I'll lower the highlights a little bit, and the clarity here it's important. If you increase clarity, it will make everything more visible, but this is more of a dreamy like image, so I'm gonna reduce the clarity to make it more like dreamy effect. Then I'm gonna go to my effects module, then I'm gonna just add a little bit of vignette to like bring the eyes to the center more then I'm gonna press ok so this is like the before and after the camera raw filter and I guess like we're done with our tutorial so make sure if you like it make sure you subscribe and if you have any questions or suggestions make sure you put them in the comments below thank you